transition shot for uh, beginning of Transformers desert scene. So you have this uh, metal cobra, you know, questing around in the dirt, you know, slithering up to this fence post. And then it slithers up really quick, you know, all backwards. And when it gets to the top, it, it grabs its tail on the, on like the piece of the top wood post with like the nail on it and it starts spinning. It's like... Man, it's hard to do. Here, stop for a second. Slithering through the desert, up through the bug dust to a post. It climbs the post all slithery. And when it reaches the top, it begins to spin at high speed. Room, room, around and around. And then it changes directions as a bunch of other snakes along that are all Decepticons. are all putting out a signal that will warn them when anything shows up to, you know, stop their devastating rampage of eating all the metals off of the planet. So then, a, uh, what's you would call it, a, uh, Autobot shows up, but it's, you know, one of those tiny ones. It's like, shows up as an RC car, and it goes, up, you know? Yeah. Then it transforms into, like, a, uh, drone hawk. You know, yeah. it jumps off of a big, like, dirt jump, you know? And then it, like, comes in, and it's all like, Arr! Because it's like spinning, you know, and like grabs it by the head and like takes off with it, you know, right? As it's spinning around, and that's like the end of the scene is it like switches over to like the de desert trucks driving past. Damn, that's western. Yeah, it is. The point is, uh, me playing the farmer uh, in Transformers, because everybody else who plays in those movies they just ruin it, and so the point is the bad. Robots are gonna like chomp me because I'm like a sexy metal farmer because I like show up in the area where they're chomping everything in the field. Then, like, uh, the Transformers, like, they show up chasing in, you know, the second wave of them into the Earth's atmosphere, having followed them wherever they go because it's like an infection and they're supposed to eradicate it. And, um, so, like, there's, like, a four-wheeler, you know, by the, like, pile of, like, hay bales. And it's taken over by the, like, particleized nanobots that stream down in, like, this ionized, um, energy light beam, like, from, like, a set-up automatic, um, satellite of Autobots in space. They like assemble it out of like crystalline metal and then it like beams down and it like liquefies the um it into its component parts so then it like runs up and into my body across it and then it's like it turns into as I get onto it it transforms around me into like one of those running mech suits but like more streamlined and correct for my body and physiology perfectly so then it's like I can run at high speed as the cars are chasing me as I'm like going through different canyon draws near farm fields in like the western area randomly as I'm running incredibly fast and they're chasing me and like jump falling off of cliffs and exploding everywhere as cars they can't transform into anything that can really handle the terrain um then I reach the highway down along some canyons and the uh, wheels like reassemble from like being like rubber that like makes me all bouncy and like makes the suit rubbery like in my harnesses and it like rewinds back up into wheels as I go back down and then I'm like driving like a like quad bike it's like a motorcycle, but it has two wheels close together on either side. And then, you know, you can move the whole frame and, like, dodge really good. So I'm, like, whooshing through traffic as, like, giant, um, auto, uh, bad bots are taking over the cars as they're, like, metal, like, black, like, iron, like, running, like, strange creatures from other alien planets along the road and, like, morphing into the cars. And then they, like, turn evil and, like, try to change and like reach out and grab me as I'm like going past at hyperspeed as I like slowly gain distance from them. 
So the entire time that you know, these action sequences are happening yeah. with the transforming going around my body and like there's the whole scene where they kind of did this maybe in previous Transformers movies but not quite enough like they were supposed to have it I was saying back then the elite troops you know of the US military or whatever are supposed to be taken over by Autobot you know micro technology and then they like are doing what I'm doing but they never like did it because they were like just didn't have the technology then or something which is like I'm driving down the freeway and then all four of my limbs are like connected as though it's a mech suit and the wheels are on the end of them sort of and then like I go between two semis and I like drive up them you know as like something that's chasing me from a distance behind has like a laser weapon you know on like on the front of the um stupid insect sports car so then it like I'm driving with all four limbs like in like sort of like a slight motor bright crouch position um up the sides of the semis as they're like you know driving alongside each other along the freeway so there's like not much of a gap between them what do you mean like this yeah like so then the laser like weapons like blow up the tires of the semis so then I like drive up and towards the cab fronts of them towards the and like jump eject as the semis like collide together as their tires blow out and they screech you know from the back and slam together and like flip so their like wheels of the cabs are like you know touching belly to belly like lovers on the bed facing each other sideways yeah yeah and then I'm ejected forwards out of the explosion you know as like they slow and they're like you know flaming that's pretty cool I guess yeah like, but in like the meantime like while that's how happening uh, I'm gonna flip this around again oh, wait no I don't uh, in the meantime um <laughs> The Autobots from their satellites, they've set up all crystalline shooting technology light down from their far away star. Um, it is interacting with the brain in sounds like dial up connection into like clarity of a signal of sound waves that are light waves interacting straight into the brain. Um, as it like shows me news feeds of all over the world as different animals are being mimicked by the Autobots and the Decepticons and fighting each other in various ways like as though it's the ecosystem but they're like fighting over everything for the metal resources so the like the fruit bats in South America are fighting like all the owls that are like Decepticons with like twisty you know owl laser beam eyes and it's pretty epic and they're like you know creating uh, sonar light nets as bats that are like you know a bunch of them that like create waves of light that like slam into the owls and like smash them down against the rocks and stuff you know and they come in and like I don't know rip them to pieces you know rip all their feathers off like it's brutal like mech warrior uh, showdown on our planet So, like, when the cattle destroy the bigger insect cars, they break apart and turn into, like, smaller insects to try to, like, you know, eat everything anyways. So then, these, like, um, robot, uh, good guys come in that are, like, transmogrify into the shape of, like, you know, like, hawks and eagles and stuff, and, uh, then, like, there's, like, a bunch of crows that, like, get possessed by, you know, evil Decepticons. So then they're all fighting each other, you know, in midair. So then when I'm going down the freeway and launch off of the two semis, what's actually also happening is the big semi spaceship that came down is rocketing down the freeway with, like, a big, the front engine parts, like, opened up and it's, like, like eating cars and stuff as it roars along. So it's, like, going to catch up. So then, like, the crows have been, like, flying around the fields on the sides of the freeway, 
get defeated by the, uh, you know, flaming eagles, and then they come in and all morph together and attach onto the, uh, you know, four-wheeler vehicle I'm riding, and then it turns into like a, like jet wing flying mobile that takes off at hyper speed with like maneuverable rudder wings. Really sensual, you know what I'm saying? Yeah.